Hello, my friends. It's good to see you. Look, <laughs> it's Steph. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Genius Network. My name's Cal. And welcome to Candid with Kel. I am your host for today, and I am here with the lovely Steph, who is a fellow stroke survivor. You're inside with us on our one of our irregular times doing Candid with Kel, chatting about all the things that matter to you. And basically, I wanted to introduce you to this boss sitting next to me, who is absolutely oh, just oh, I've got to get closer. I've got to get as close okay. as I can. Basically, Steph and I met through our community. And we have, how long have we known each other for now? Oh, I want to say a good year. A good but year. maybe even less. And it feels like longer. It feels like longer, but it has been a good year. Now, Steph is a fellow stroke survivor, but I'm not going to talk with Steph. I'm going to ask Steph a bit about herself so that you can get to know her. So when did you have your stroke? I had my stroke uh, almost, oh, actually, it's been nine years, 2010. Yeah, and I was 22. 22. Mm. Okay, well, I won't do the math. Um, you look like you're 21, so you, well done, you. well yes. done, well done. So, and how, like, if you were to sort of summarise in, you know, a, a, a sentence, like a lot of our community will have felt in their experience, what's been the biggest sort of um, discovery you've had about yourself in your recovery process? Oh, there's a few. <laughs> that, was uh, a, that was pretty loaded yeah, and pretty big. But I think the main uh, surprise, pleasant supply, surprise has been just being a lot stronger than I ever expected myself to be to like, I guess, stand up and, and kind of fight for myself. Yeah, that's wow. definitely. That's something that I've like in our as you said, like our only year, but it feels a lot longer. That's something that I've discovered about you. And I, I was just telling you before, I really appreciate your kind of candor. <laughs> I love it. It's very like, it's kind of blunt. <laughs> blunt, savvy businesswoman, knows her stuff, maybe like you. But I guess so on the sort of this thing about discoveries, which we just discovered. So we've, because we don't live in the same no, state. No, I'm a Sydney, yeah. So this is a Sydney gal, um, sassy Sydney gal, and I'm a Melbourne man. Look, I do love the alliteration. <laughs> but we just met up and have been having a great talk about, um, you know, where we're going as a community and how we can both, you know, sort of work with our value in, in strengthening our community. Mm. But one of the cool things that Steph <laughs> pointed out very quickly, because she started sneezing, <laughs> is that... Okay, we're going to get real with you. Yes. So, after stroke or brain injury, we feel like there are some unexpected oddities that occur that sometimes we don't know why they occur. Yeah. Now, before you have to tell yours, I'll start with mine because okay. I should start the story sharing. So, since my stroke, we have chatted about this before, but I cough, like uncontrollably cough, when I bang my shin <laughs> and it sounds like it's so, it's so random but it sounds like oh that's like maybe nothing to do with the stroke and hey neurologically maybe it's nothing to do with the stroke I'm down with that but I know that before my stroke I 100% didn't have this weird cough reflex when I mm. banged my another nerve mm. but now every time I bang a specific nerve in my shin my throat tightens and I have this weird, uncontrollable cough. Oh my goodness. And then the other one for me is that I can't eat fur or foe because my throat responds oh. to the heat and oh. the, the liquid in a weird way. But so it's like this really unexpected. Yes, oh. it's just the broth. But speaking of my unexpected oddities, I'm going to now hand the baton oh over goodness. to your badass. I don't Okay, I what don't... is yours? <laughs> you did it before. What happened? I can't even top that out like that. That both. Oh, <laughs> bull. But okay, so I do have also two really odd ones. I can't even begin to explain. But the first one um, that Cal actually uh, witnessed is um, whenever I get like I'm really hot. I've been running or you know just trying to exercise or something, and I cool down 
whilst I cool down, I my body just um, randomly sneezes. <laughs> uh, in... we'll, we'll, just, we'll just make this very clear. Yes. It randomly sneezes, but like, in how many sneezes does it give? Oh, three, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> three consecutive sneezes. It's always three, you know. When They're quite I... delicate. No way, they're very... <laughs> oh, we've been shut out. Yeah, oh, okay, we're good, we're good. But basically, I just, um, I can't explain why it happens all the time. It's basically a given when I... So now I, need, I know to put on a jumper. So when I'm really hot and then I start to cool down, I put on a jumper and then it kind of like you mitigate it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, right. But if I don't, and <laughs> I just forget, it just it just sneezes. Like, definitely at least three times, and it happens, like consistently until I am like fully, f finally cool down. Okay, okay. Yes. So overheating leads to an unexpected oddity, which is sneezing. Now, oh, we've been lit again. <laughs> what is number two? Okay, take second, us, take us take us home, babe. Second one is. Um, Whenever I do my hand OT exercises for my my thumb, um, as in like mirror so, therapy. So when I'm I, I'm trying to abduct my thumb. What's that word? Ad abduct. Abduct. Which is an OT term. Basically okay. means like just do this. Oh. Yeah. Like dance with your thumb. Yeah. I'm into that. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. Thumb wars. Yeah. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So, without a fail, my like my affected side of, of my face itches like no tomorrow to a point itchy that face. yeah it gets so tingly so itchy and I've, I've been having the same sensation when I do this uh, for what almost nine years now because I've, it's been explained to me that the sensation side of the brain for your face is also next to your uh, the governing governing side of your hand so it's been explained to me the that neuro way. like there's a neurological yeah, reason potentially maybe who knows it's just random but i there should be a research study <laughs> it's just like a really random quirk oddity that you mentioned yeah but um now i just know that if it's not itchy then i'm just not exercising a right part of my brain <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. well I feel like basically we just wanted to come in quick for this we're going to have lots more chats with Steph um online and yeah, that's going to be really exciting because I want to hear a bit more about some other things in your life because you are a badass biage warrior. <laughs> but unexpected oddities, guys. We've got some sneezing. We've got itchy face. We've shin. got we've got shin coughing. And what was my other one? And Both. swallow stopping yeah. with the broth. Do you have an unexpected oddity? Let what's us know. Yours? Yeah, what's I yours? Wanna, I don't know. Feel make me feel better. I'm not just make weird. make Steph feel better. I already feel like a weirdo. Oh, the light's gone out. They're like, get out. Anyway, namaste. We'll catch up with Steph soon. Thank you, Steph. Everyone say goodbye. Bye. We'll see you soon. Steph's a genius. I'm a genius. You're a genius. And we're on fire. See you soon. Bye.